Time for tonight's reality check. We want to show you a video, but before we play it, a warning. This tape is more than 20 years old. It comes from a different time when our leaders were less enlightened and morality was not as advanced as it is today, obviously. We're broadcasting it purely for its historical value. Now, that said, you might still want to remove children and the elderly from the room as it plays. It could be triggering to the sensitive. Here it is. That's why our administration has moved aggressively to secure our borders more, by hiring a record number of new border guards, by deporting twice as many criminal aliens as ever before, by cracking down on illegal hiring, by barring welfare benefits to illegal aliens. The jobs they hold might otherwise be held by citizens or legal immigrants. The public service they use impose burdens on our taxpayers. It is wrong and ultimately self-defeating for a nation of immigrants to permit the kind of abuse of our immigration laws we have seen in recent years, and we must do more to stop it. Wow, and to think he said that on national television during the State of the Union, no less. Does Hillary know about this? President Clinton used the highly offensive term illegal alien. Criminal aliens were referred to as, quote, criminal aliens. And he warned that illegal aliens take the jobs of American citizens and take a toll on public services. He bragged about increasing deportations. In other words, the Bill Clinton of 1995 told the truth about immigration plainly and without apology. That was a very different time and a very different Democratic Party, one that cared about the country it governed. The party would never tolerate such hate think today, nor would the media. It's too clear and easy to understand, and therefore people might be persuaded by it. Speaking of Clintons, they're under investigation yet again. Set your clock by it. The Senate Judiciary Committee is launching a probe into Hillary Clinton's actions while she was Secretary of State. According to the Daily Caller News Foundation, which first reported the story in April, Clinton pressured government officials in Bangladesh to drop a corruption investigation of Muhammad Yunus, a businessman and Clinton Foundation donor. Peter Schweitzer is the president of the Government Accountability Project. He's also the author of Clinton Cash and Throw Them All Out, two great books, and he joins us tonight. So, Peter, what's the substance of this investigation? What are they looking for? Well, basically, the substance of this investigation is that senior State Department officials, uh, in seeing this investigation taking place of this longtime Clinton friend, told the Prime Minister of Bangladesh uh, to get their mother, uh, the Prime Minister, to call off the dogs on the investigation. And if they didn't do that, according to the Prime Minister's son, they were going to have the IRS audit him. Uh, the son of the Bangladeshi Prime Minister uh, lives in the United States, has been here for 17 years. So it was a very serious threat. And based on what that individual has said, it's, it's a pretty detailed claim. I think that's why Senator Grassley is saying this needs to be investigated. So is it typical for a Secretary of State to insert herself into the internal politics of Bangladesh? <laughs> Uh, no. I mean, look, I think we could all say this is a family friend. It would have been fine to say, hey, how's this investigation going? Do you, you know, what, where do you think it's going to lead? But to essentially be charged with sicking the IRS on foreign government officials and their families uh, for these purpose, purposes is way beyond the pale. And unfortunately, Tucker, it fits the pattern of the kind of behavior that the Clintons engage in, which is using government power as a tool and a cudgel against the opponents or people that are are looking for wrongdoing that's taking place either by them or by their powerful friends. Right. As anyone who works at a non-liberal foundation in D.C., whose tax-exempt status was held up by Lois Lerner, can tell you <laughs> firsthand. So what about the broader investigations into the Clinton Foundation's activities? Are they ongoing? Will they be? What's the status? Well, I know that the FBI continues to look into the Clinton Foundation uh, on a number of levels, uh, some of them the pay-to-play charges, uh, others related to their sort of keeping uh, of the books or the cooking of the books, uh, and those are ongoing. And look, a lot of people will say, Tucker, well, you know, she lost, what's the big deal? Uh, I think the issue is win or lose, uh, if this kind of behavior is allowed to go on, and it's not even investigated by federal authorities, it just encourages this kind of behavior by the political class, whether they're Republicans or Democrats. So I've said from the beginning there needs to be either an independent counsel or there needs to be a grand jury to look into these charges so they get aired and looked at once and for all and we can either put this to rest or we can have a trial uh, where charges are actually brought. Well, sure. And it would, you know, dropping them undermines people's belief in the rule that everyone's treated equally under the law. Kind of weird, though. I feel like I know an awful lot about a number of FBI investigations in progress because the leaks show up in the newspaper every day. I haven't seen any leaks out of this investigation. 
No, that's right. Uh, really, since the campaign, when the Wall Street Journal ran the front page piece on this investigation, it's been very quiet. Uh, I know from personal knowledge that the investigation is going on. Where it has stood for a while, Tucker, is that FBI field offices went to the Department of Justice looking for subpoena power and other tools. They were turned down by the Obama Justice Department. Uh, it'll be interesting to see under the new Attorney General uh, Jeff Sessions whether that changes. Uh, I think it should. I think it's a question of giving them the right tool and let's just see where the facts lead. I think that's ultimately where we all should come down on this. Of course. And by the way, just for the record, I'm glad there are no leaks. There should never be leaks from ongoing investigations. So I do find it curious that the Clintons are never announced in addition to all their other titles as subjects of a current FBI investigation. That seems like maybe you could add that to the list of titles. <laughs> yeah, it'd probably be pretty repetitive, Tucker. <laughs> That's something that could be said for quite a while. Going back to the 90s, uh, uh, you know, even in the 2000s, there were certain claims about uh, conduct that was taking place, the Mark Rich pardon, and oh, now yes. with the Clinton Foundation. It's an ongoing look, and I think it just requires uh, the kind of investigation that at least some people in Washington don't seem to want to take place, yeah. which for the life of me is ridiculous standard. I mean, when they sold all the presidential pardons, yeah, I was here for that. That was great. Peter, thanks for joining us. Thanks, Tucker.